Windfoyt, Windfoyt. Windfoyt, c'est le Jean Chavoil. Euh... Windsurf Non, Windfoyt. Ok. Jean Chavoil, c'est une surfeuse. Est-ce que tu as au moins demandé s'il vient d'Amsterdam Hi. Are you guys from Amsterdam? Okay. And they because I'm 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 looking for someone from uh who is living in Amsterdam. And so uh he wanted me to see whether you guys knew her, but I don't oh, think you're no, gonna no, know her. No, no, sorry. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, good. All right, well thanks. Well enjoy your stay. Um, well, actually, I'm doing interviews. Can I interview you? And then? I'm just gonna, it's a video interview, and I'm just gonna ask you basically what the mind is. Can oh, I do that? Uh, but my English is too bad for that. <laughs> you, okay, well, can you, what if you, I just asked you to point. Where is your mind? My mind and my brain. <laughs> okay, and what's the difference between your mind and your brain? Uh, the, the body is different as the brain. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 hold on. So, so the brain yes. and the mind, are they different? Uh, maybe. Maybe. But maybe you are a brain? I guess. It's possible? I guess. Okay, cool. That's it. Okay, bye bye. Thanks, bye. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, wow. Quel frère. Genou le contact. Oui. Tu veux faire une interview intéressante avant que avec nous qui monte sur sa planche là? Il fabrique des cordes ah oui. plastiques. Là, Et du coup, là, il est là sur la ah, plage, là, là 200 mètres, là. Bon, bah, on y va. Tu es prêt Oui, oui. Ouais. Ah, il faut passer par là Non. Allez, c'est ici. Allez, on va. Ok. Je ne les voyais pas, mais je crois qu'ils étaient rentrés devant. Non. Voilà. Eris. 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 Si. Espagnol? No. Where are you from? Germany. Germany, ok. Hello, ok. Well, danke. Um, Frédéric. En allemand, c'est Frédéric. Yeah, yeah. Ich, Eris. Ok. Um, yeah, so, uh, Bitte, can I um, interview you? Can I ask you what the mind is on a on video interview? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? What the mind is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me. Hold on. hold on, let's let's get set up then. Eh hey, mais Fred, toi t'as une mission. C'est moi qui t'ai filmé. Ah ouais. Ok. <rire> okay. Voilà. C'est bon. Euh, là on est ah, plutôt par. Je sais pas. Il... Alright, so, uh, so here, could you come here? Okay. Alright, so what's your name? I'm Igmund. Igmund. Very good. How do you spell that? E G M O N T. Okay, okay. My um, middle uh, name is Edmund. So E D M O M U N D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, very good. All right, and so you're vacationing here? I kind of live here now for okay. the winter time. And where are you from in Germany? I used to live in Germany in the south, okay. in Bavaria, okay. south of Munich. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Close to the Alps. Okay, very cool, beautiful. <laughs> All right, so um, so I said that the question I've been asking people is, what is the mind? What is the mind? The mind has a personal side and I think a, a global side, like the mind of the whole world. Okay, yeah. So that the, you can... the mind of the whole world is a little bit heavy these days, I yeah. believe. Yeah. And I think... Uh, If you're a little bit uh, sensitive, you can feel that so many problems and suffering going on and uh, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Okay. 
and uh, I think uh, the state of the global mind is not such a good one. Yeah. But we have to keep up the positive side. Sure. That's the important thing. And uh, I think when you are in a place like this here, the sun shining and the sea, yeah. a beautiful day. Yeah. People here, they are relaxed, they are friendly, they are fine. It's a beautiful atmosphere. And for me personally, I look forward to go out now on the wing foil. Yeah. I hope it's just going to be enough uh, wind. And if I start flying over the water, Whoa. then my mind is very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask you one last question? Of course. What's the difference between the mind and the brain, if there is one? Okay, I would say the mind is a broader complex. The brain, to me, is the, the muscle for thinking, for intellect, okay. for rationalism. What about emotions? Emotions are not really uh, centered in the brain. Okay. Emotions, we tend to locate in our hearts and so, so so emotional processes are those happening in the heart i believe in the whole body okay but as well as as um thinking does not only happen in the brain but we like to uh, understand it that way okay uh, which is fine uh, so that's the brain to me well, the mind is broader. The mind includes emotions and uh, the, the whole, yeah. um, both sides. Okay. Okay. Both Very sides. Good. The okay. Dionysian and the Apollinian side. Okay. If you wait, want to wait, put I it don't that know way. what that is. Yes, that refers to mythology. Okay. But in, uh, you could maybe say Dionysus is uh, the god of. Uh, the instinct, the emotions, okay, the the gut feeling, okay, and while now, Apoll is the rationalist yeah. with the bright brain. I see. I see. And what about what about people who think that uh, emotion happens in the brain? For instance, there's a structure called the amygdala, which yes. is often it's in the center of the brain and it's often associated with anger, fear, and so on. So when there's activity there, we're experiencing fear and anger and so on. We're motivated by that. Mm. Yes, I'm sure that's probably right. And if you follow modern uh, neurologic studies, you can maybe deduce everything like emotions to certain processes and uh, hormones in the brain. And networks. And, and uh, it could be uh, an explanation for everything. Okay. I'm not sure how important it is to nail it down to these... Uh, uh, scientific processes. Yeah. I'm sure it's, it's very, very interesting. What if I think, I think that it might be empowering to know what we are. So if I know that I'm a brain, and if I know that my, my emotions, my interpretations, my, my behavior and everything, it's a matter of the communication between neural networks, then neurologists, for example, neuroscientists who are studying those networks, they can maybe tell me a little bit about how my mind works and sure. certain errors that my mind might be prone to make. What do you think about that? Absolutely. That's a scientific approach. And uh, like we in the Western world, we like to dissect everything, sure. cut it open, look inside, sure. try to explain the processes. But, but when you... we do that too much, we maybe turn a blind eye to, the, to a way of understanding of experiencing with, uh, without the rationalism of sure. science sure but, which is limited for yeah sure. so i hear you about adding the explanation about scientists giving an explanation and what i'm wondering about is also not only is science can science maybe explain sort of the underpinnings of our mental experience but maybe they can also tell us what our mental processes are so it's not just explaining, but actually literally labeling. Ah, I have that mental process yes, when I... But, that would be good. But isn't it scary if you could explain everything to a neurologic, neurologic process? And the next step then is to willfully control these processes. That is, that's scary. That second step <laughs> that is, is very scary. Step, but then. wait, what, if, what, if, what about this for a second step instead? 
What about once we're able to identify the processes, then me, when I want to think about the world, by knowing the processes by which I think about the world, I can myself refine some of my interpretive mechanisms so that I can get closer to a better understanding of my environment and reacting better to my environment. So I can maybe reprogram, so rather than the government reprogramming me, if I learn about my mechanisms, maybe I could change them to have healthier relationships, to have healthier relationships to the things around me, and to not just rely on sort of the pre-programmed reactions that I have. Absolutely. There are many ways to explain ourselves, to explain the world. There's not one way, the only way and the right way. Okay. There are many approaches. Yeah. And I think people are also different. Some like to have uh, an explanation in the way like you just mentioned. Uh -huh. Maybe others want just uh, a more um, feeling side to it yeah. without the pinpointing. Do you think that you can it's arrive at truth it. through that feeling and intuition? Um, truth is nothing static. It's uh, something you can arrive for a moment. You can feel it in a moment. Maybe the next moment it's gone already. Okay. <laughs> That's it. All right. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Ekman.